Hi, you're PowerFN, and today we will make one of the best game design concepts ever become real. At the same time, I'd like to give you some inspiration on what current technology can offer. In case you haven't experienced it yourself, these are cutscenes from the game series Command and Conquer. Even prior to StarCraft, it really made real-time strategy games popular with its storyline and cool and imaginative unique designs. I especially fancy one concept, which is the Orca. It's a tricopter design built for maneuverability and speed. However, several Orca designs exist, and we are going to add to this by creating a fully functional radio-controlled model. To create the main body, we are going to use topology optimization. It's a type of simulation tool ideal to create light and stiff structures. First, you need to define the available design space and specify the physical loads that the part must withstand. The optimization software will then generate a design proposal that meets these requirements as effectively as possible. These proposals are often highly innovative and can serve as great inspiration for the design work. One of the benefits of using optimization techniques is that they can handle complex problems with ease, making them a popular choice in professional product development. I'd like to use the opportunity to thank the people from Altea for creating Hyperworks, Inspire, and actually all of the simulation tools are used to create this project. Without them, it would really not have been possible at all. So let's apply topology optimization to the Orca. Here we are with the design space. It's okay to be rough like that, and what's important is that we've already thought about the positioning of all parts and defined the loads that will act on the Orca during flight or crash. As a common optimization target, I chose to maximize stiffness while using only 5% of the initial material. Take a look at those results. Each strut is placed to deliver optimal structural performance within the given boundaries and targets. Now we can easily perform variations on those settings or investigate different part placements. Being able to refuse stress distributions and eigenmodes is also essential. Altogether, it's valuable information that is needed to create the CAD. Topology optimization tends to create designs similar to organic growth. This might be due to the shared approach of reinforcing high stress areas and weakening unnecessary ones to best utilize the material. An exemplary case is the optimization of the rear fin, where the ideal shape emerged as a hollow structure with strategic reinforcements. This design seamlessly integrates the rear rotor, resulting in an area that is incredibly stiff while maintaining an acceptable weight. Uh, dozens of optimization results went into the creation of the final CAD, which was checked again to really receive good mechanical behavior, low weight and full functionality for integrating all necessary parts. Honestly, I'm really happy with the results. It's a real homage to the original Orca design. Uh, besides the main structure, a lot of work went into choosing the electrical and mechanical parts and implementing them into the design. I'm going to skip the details for now. In case you're interested, there's a full list of the parts which are included in the model in the video description below. So, without further ado, please enjoy the final design. As a next step, we need to 3D print the design. There are several techniques out there. In this case, I chose Multi-Jet Fusion. It works by applying one thin layer of powder, polyamide powder in this case, one thin layer, 
heating it specifically in the areas where you want the particles to bind together. And then you apply the second sheet, heat it, third sheet, heat it, and sequentially build up the whole model. Here are some pictures of the physical parts. When I first saw them, I was amazed by their great geometrical accuracy. Also, the sand-like surface complements the design perfectly. The concept was created with as few parts as necessary and everything fits together nicely. Following this, a series of test flights enabled the calibration of the entire system. Finally, let's fly. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the process as much as I did. As a next step, I'm really looking forward to creating an updated version. There's just so many things one can improve on. It's gonna be awesome. See you soon.